What is going on everybody? I hope you're doing well out there. We've been doing really good here and I have been doing even better since I got this guy here in front of me. This is the Christensen Arms Ridgeline and this guy happens to be chambered in a 6.5 Creedmoor and this thing is light. Uh, I believe it comes in at 6.8 pounds and you could tell. I mean it is so light as soon as you pick this up you could trek this thing around all day if you wanted to uh, and I really wanted to get down show uh, this rifle off go over a couple of the key features and let you get an overall look of this weapon and what you're gonna get as soon as you take it out of the box. So one thing you'll notice, it does come with that break I've got sitting here. I'm gonna get this out of the way for right now. And how they start is just with that thread protector on there, stainless steel thread protector. Uh, and I got this one in the burnt bronze uh, Cerakote. I think it also comes in just a like naked steel if that's more uh, the route that you like to go. But I really thought the burnt bronze was catchy with this green stock. So anyway, uh, it's a stainless uh, steel. I think it's 416R stainless steel barrel that has been wrapped with carbon fiber uh, to keep that weight low and durable and heat and all the benefits of having carbon fiber. Plus, I mean, it's pretty badass looking. I like the carbon fiber, it looks really good. And then you notice here, they'll throw that bronze um, with the text to kind of really give it a cool little pop aesthetically. It's a 1-8 twist. Uh, uh, barrel. Uh, I believe it's button rifled. The rifling's a button rifled uh, barrel, which is really cool. And it's hand lapped. So it's probably where you're seeing some of that price point come from. A lot of hand work done with these uh, rifles here to, you know, ensure, of course, um, quality and all of that. And that's where the price point really comes in. But for what you're paying, you're getting a lot of rifle here. So moving on to the receiver. Um, just like some of their other products, it's a seven, Remington 700 base, so you can use Remington 700 uh, optic bases to mount up. It's going to mount up the same exact way. There's plenty of that stuff out there, uh, so that makes it really, really nice. Uh, you'll notice that the bolt, super smooth, spiral fluted, black nitride bolt, which is really cool. And they used a Trigger Tech trigger in there. Um, not sure which one, if there is differences on those Trigger Tech triggers, uh, but it is labeled as a trigger tech trigger. Feels really good. Uh, nice, smooth pull, really crisp. Uh, I liked it a lot. feels great. Um, it is a hinged floor plate, and I believe it's an internal capacity of four rounds on that uh, 6.5 Creedmoor. So four round internal capacity. And then just check out that stock. I mean, it's a beautiful stock. Carbon fiber, um, composite stock with a like OD green co composite with that uh, uh, black and tan webbing designed. Really nice, really good butt pad back here, comfortable. So of course that's the one side I like to show everything. So I'm gonna do some, uh, some flipping around here, see if we can show everything off in a pretty short amount of time. I like to keep it short and sweet. So last time there's all that. Let's check out the bottom here, get a nice overall view of that rifle, get close up on that barrel. Dude, thing is sweet. Let's check out the top without laying it on the bolt. There we go, all right. That sounded way worse than what it was banging off the table there, just plastic. <laughs> all right, anyway, beautiful, looks great. That's the radial um, brake that they give you there. I like that it's not installed yet because a lot of times you're gonna be buying this maybe with a can in mind already, and you might already have that can. You wanna throw that sucker on there. You don't have to worry about trying to get this thing off right away, marring up that Cerakote. If you like it, you throw it on, it'll make that rifle even better. Guys, that is it. I really appreciate everything. And there's been so many comments and advice and everyone chiming in on you know, different specs that I don't always get to and go over. And it does, it really means a lot to me. I like that the comments are filling up with a lot of positivity, a lot of information. And that's been my point to these. I want to show a lot of info um, and, and a short amount of time. I don't like to let these things drone on. I don't like to talk too much. I like to just let you see the product and know what it is and throw a couple things at you that you might have liked to know. And so again, as always, if you need anything at all, reach out anytime. I really appreciate it and I hope you have a good one. See you later.